Hey guys, this is the final part, hopefully, of the series on the new chapter, chapter 9 in the campaign. So we're going to continue and focus on stage 16, the final boss stage. And as we can look at the details, the map info, we can see there is a boss, Herdus the Myth Creator. He has five different abilities. He's got a lot of HP and kind of average and everything else of common armor type. So there's no special magic nor piercing will be good against him. So I'll keep that in mind. So let's have a look at his skills. Energy combo launches three magic energy bursts towards the last deployed hero within three tiles away. So it's okay. I need to keep that in mind because I kept messing that up before. It's the ones that are last deployed and closest to him. So that's painful. Energy absorption. Whenever a hero on the field uses their ultimate, restores energy for casting crystalline meteorite so i guess crystalline meteorite this one here is his ultimate and he needs rage some sort of equivalent to rage to cast it and whenever i use ultimates it will build it for him so that's actually really annoying energy current occasionally deals magic damage to all heroes on the field crystalline meteorite casts crystalline meteorite a random hero and their adjacent units dealing magic damage to all targets in the range up to eight times that's a lot so energy current is kind of annoying we definitely need some good healers I kind of want to use Island for this because of the amount of damage that's going to be coming out. But we'll see how that works out with this. This is two annoying parts to defend on the map. This is <laughs> already looks tricky. Divine Being becomes immune to all debuffs and continuous damage. So he can't be debuffed. And they nerf Poison, Bleed and Burn on him for reasons. It feels like they've chosen to nerf it so that you can't just Salazar bomb him with Dolores. Maybe that's a strat that would work otherwise. Okay, so what else have we got? Heard us the Forbidden Scholar. Wait, are they all just called Herdus? What's going on here? Okay, so Herdus, the Forbidden Scholar, he also has five abilities. Sublime Twin Star targets the heroes with the highest and lowest max HP on the field, dealing significant physical damage to the former and AoE magic damage to the latter and adjacent allies. So the lowest HP ally will take AoE magic damage. Okay. Otherworldly Corruption corrupts all tiles on the path, dealing continuous damage to heroes on the corrupted tiles. So that's interesting. End time chant grants a shield equal to 15% max HP and casts end time chant. If the shield is not broken for the duration, the battle will automatically end. <laughs> what? Okay. That's interesting. I'm, I'm down for that. That's cool. It's a different mechanic. It sounds really hard, but I'm down for it. Space time rift occasionally applies otherworldly corruption to two random tiles. So they can just place that underneath your hero. Uh, I don't like that, man. That's just RNG. Like, surely you just get screwed randomly your run just gets ruined because it goes underneath you i'm not keen on that i think it should be a fixed mechanic as to how it works otherwise you're just going to have to retry until you get a lucky run if it is impactful anyway corruption burst all corrupted tiles will explode dealing magic damage to the heroes deployed on them the explosion will remove all sure okay well that's annoying so fighters are they found a way to make fighters worse for once in campaign because fighters are dominant you've probably seen my excessive use of salazar and arrogance in these stages so I think this corruption tile stuff is a clever way of countering that. Anyway, let's give it a go. Let's see what I want to do with this. I definitely don't want to use Tariel. Man, this is going to be hard. So I'm going to put my fighters at the top because I'm not really using lords. Because people are going to be dying so much, I probably do want to actually have 10 heroes I can place. So I have, I have two defenders. I have two magic nukers. I have three healers. I'm, I didn't read the rest of it. So I, don't, I don't remember if I need Setram. Or a Vienna. I need to get rid of a shield, right? So let's take Setram because he's got better range. And let's just give this a go. I don't think this is going to work. <laughs> I think I'm going to get destroyed. I'll be surprised if I do this in under an hour, to be honest. Hopefully the edited video won't be so long. I'll put my audio on so you can hear it a bit as well. I'm just going to take another peek at the monster manual to see if there's any flying enemies because I didn't check very well. So both of these Herdus bosses seem to be floating. So maybe they can't be blocked. They both have common armor type, which is a pain. And we have those guys. Okay, so. I think I'm just going to let it fail, the first one. Because I really just want to see where things are parving. Actually, let me just restart that. Because I want to see where he's going. Because that's... He's zigzagging around the whole map and going in the bottom left corner. And that is the myth creator. This is the one that hits people near him. And... It's just a real pain. It does lots of damage from the looks of it. Okay, so... And he's going for the middle one. So they've got a bar here to show his ultimate charging up. This shows he cannot be debuffed. Can I speed this up a bit?
Okay. So it seems the ads are focusing towards the middle. Let's. Just make sure we don't fail it by default, because that would be annoying. A gift of green. I guard and die well. All lives break. Not so soon. Okay. Okay, so that was a lot of damage that came out, and we're about to hit the ultimate. So this is probably the point where you want to do something to not die to this. Okay, so you absolutely destroyed him. Let me just go check that again. So if it was an ally at random and hits adjacent allies, does up to eight damage. It was a lot of damage. It flattened a HP scaling hero there. So without some way of providing shields to them, they're just gonna die. And what was that? That was just some big burst of AoE damage that just wiped people out. I'm guessing that was energy current. Deals AoE damage to all enemies on the field. It was a lot of damage. So that pulse damage just wiped out Setram. Even Gwendolyn is getting absolutely destroyed. So, massive amounts of damage. This is really hard. Okay. Okay, so this is really, really, really hard. I don't know how I'm actually going to do this. That's so much damage. That's only one of the bosses. I am... Yeah, I don't know. This seems incredibly cr crazy to me. I'm thinking about just trying to trap the boss at the start and just nuke him to bits. Let's check. What does his AoE thing do again? And adjacent allies. So, yeah. My placement order was not great here. boss is really tanky as well he just didn't care wow I don't know this is this is really hard this is gonna be really really hard I'm just gonna focus on seeing can I actually hurt the boss to a a noteworthy amount so who's let's split the damage types we'll have you Oh, but Salazar is not going to be able to tank this. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure. This seems incredibly difficult to me. So, I think I do this, and then this, and so much damage, it's unreal how much damage is coming out. Wow.
Hmm. I'm not sure. I think you might need to wait on placing heroes and just drop a whole bunch together. You really don't want to use heroes that have a auto charge on their ult and like an automatic fire on their ult because it's it's going to build up this this faster and that's not going to be good for you. He's going down here. <sighs> okay, I need to figure this out. Um, this is the only way this works. The wind tickles. All lives are precious. So that's only a burst near him. Hmm. That's not enough magic damage, that's the problem. So my Setram is too squishy to be used at all in this level because he just immediately dies. And there doesn't seem there's anything I can do about that. Okay, so popping Brokeer's ult was a good way to survive that, but that was just luck, whether it landed on him or someone else, right? And it does hit the diagonals. The ultimate does hit the diagonals from the boss. So if you have anyone adjacent, that's doubling the chance that they get caught in it. So that's the damage from that ult. For some reason, it didn't affect Hex. Ah, oh, he dodged it. Okay, Hex is super good for this. Hex is super good for this. But now I have a different problem, which is how on earth am I supposed to handle this? If I put you down here, it was the last placed hero within three tiles. So you're screwed. Consider it done. It's not great, but I don't know what else I do here. Hex, you need to hurry up, mate. What is this? You're embarrassing. Well, good job. It's a little bit late. I wanted to hurt the boss. Okay, so that sucked. So that does enough damage to kill Karmet, and I'm pretty sure I just ulted, and it still killed Hex as well. So I'm not actually sure if I have a way to win this. He just completely butchered my magic source of damage. Okay, so is this just you have to use fighters? Because I'm kind of bored of having to use fighters. Got well, absolutely rinsed because I didn't armor in time.
Come on, kill him. Thank you. Bro, Oleg is just so good. He's blocking the bottom incredibly well. Wait, zero out of 22? What, what is it? What, what? I've killed loads of stuff. What are you talking about, game? Yeah, arrogance altered massive amount of progress was given there. Look into the evil eye and surrender. So I desperately need to do something here. Like maybe Comet does reach here. Or Hex. But they die anyway, right? They get absolutely destroyed. Should have faced. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I've just forced the ultimate up. Okay, well, did not go especially well there. Who died? Okay, so Hex died. The boss is about to ult. So if I'm going to ult any time... In the middle of... Oh. Okay. So the boss is being sandwiched right now. Which is very good. This is not so good. Let me handle it. Let me handle it. Oh, Salazar, you beauty. So that's a way forward. I have the boss blocked in place right now, which is wonderful. I think I try this. It's not really ideal. One thing I don't get is I haven't seen the Forbidden Scholar yet, and he's going to make a big mess out of this. I really do want to kill this guy. There you go, Arrogance. Keep it going, buddy. Great healing, guys. Let's drop you out of here. Please have enough time. Oh, I should have been ulting all this time. Ah, oh, that's so good. Salazar dodged the ult. Hex had a passive to avoid it. That is perfect. And that's a good position for it to land. A lot of other people would have died from that. Great thing as well is Salazar is underneath Elowen, so he's getting the rage recovery. This is really not too shabby so far. But I am still very, very worried. Because I don't have any good DPS on the boss right now. I'll risk it. <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. You could have at least waited for that. Why? Okay, let's try this. That was a zero brain play there. Oh, I'll just fed him. It seems to get 20% of his alt bar filled up when he does that. 
So he's definitely going to get at least one more of those off. But Arrogance is helping a lot. Oh, yo, yo. Just keep it coming, Arrogance. You're doing great. Salazar will be up before the boss. But I need to make sure the boss dies. Oh. No, 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 no. I lost my healer. Please kill him. Like, now. Come on, arrogance. One more. What? Die. Die, 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 die. Why is he not dying? Oh, it's a two phase fight. Okay, I was wondering when the other guy was going to show up. I was very concerned. And that might explain why it was 0 out of 22. Okay. So, that worked pretty well for the first phase. I can't say I'm super happy that I have to fight the whole thing twice if I beat the first phase already. Because it removed my heroes. So it's effectively... Um, and I have 300 points. So, I don't know. I don't know what the, the goal is there. Okay. So, what are we dealing with again? He targets two people. He does AOE damage around. He does AOE damage around the lowest max HP players. That will be my setter. I'm judging by how easily he died, or my hex, or my Karmet. He corrupts tiles. He walks on, so I don't really want him going too far. But I don't know where the shield spawns are, and if I don't break his shield, it ends. That's the most important one. I can't let him get that shield off. Okay. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. So they're just wrapping around the bottom side. So I desperately need to handle that. Broke here can shield allies. What do I do? I don't know the spawn paths. I need to block the boss in place and stop him being an asshole. Okay, so I think I'm going to put Oleg up here. Elowin in the middle. Salazar here. And then a Gwendolyn overlapping with a squishy hero far away. So you're here. No, I can't put Salazar there. I need to have you there to help occasionally. And then you can go here. Okay, so you are tanky enough. That is good. You are worthy. That was so much damage. Okay, have I screwed myself out of this? I need the squishiest HP hero to be away from everyone else. So far, my heroes are well split. I guess I put down... You don't reach the boss, do you? You do. You do. That is good. Just all. I'm gonna chuck you down here. I, I'm just throwing stuff about at this point. This feels really dumb, to be honest. Please don't die. What the hell? Oh, there's a shield I haven't paid attention to. What about the shield that I need to destroy? Whenever a hero on the field uses their ultimate, restores energy. No, that's the other boss. Corrupted tiles explode. I think that's what it was. I think he blew up the corrupted tiles. Okay. Let's just ult here. I just, I really want Salazar to survive. Let me this boss isn't immune to debuffs. Bleed him. Yes, yes, come on. That was pretty good going. Let them come. 
Come on, Hex. You can do better than this, bro. Come on, Salazar. One more ult, bro. One more. Come on. Get that bleed up again. There we go. Shit. I, I balls it up. I killed the boss anyway. Excuse me. Oh, f cough. Ready or not, this is thy God and die well. For a mother. Thirsty much. Um, well, that was very weird. <laughs> I just threw everything at him. I didn't know what was going to happen. Yo, that wasn't too bad. That was actually not too hard. I thought that was going to be a lot harder. Wow. GG, guys. We did it. Nice. Happy days. I'm chuffed. But I'm actually very surprised that worked. That was really tense. Interesting boss fight. Um, I think my strategy was actually pretty sound at the end. I was quite happy with how that worked out. Much more than the other stages. I think I spent a lot more time reading it. But damn, yeah, that was tense. Wow. Yeah, I'm happy. That wasn't anywhere near as hard as I thought it would be. That was that was okay. The first few attempts made me quite worried because of the the damage that they were doing. But once you kind of get to grips with certain heroes are just going to die. Um, and you build around fighters as always. It's not too bad. Salazar, of course, being an absolute monster. Arrogance was really useful as well. Just for his range. Yeah, I, c I can never sing enough praises for Arrogance. The guy is just a beast. Such a good hero. Anyway, that is it completed. That is the new chapter complete. I thought it was really fun. I definitely enjoyed it quite a lot. I like the designs for the levels, the layout, the aesthetic of the environments. I thought was really cool, so I like that. I think they did some quite interesting mechanics with the enemies in the game, which is what I want to see more of, to be honest. I think if they go this route more, if Moonton can push out more stages and chapters and they build them like this, I think we have a pretty good future for the game. I, I personally, I really enjoyed it. I think potentially a lot of the viewers watching this video, it's going to be impossibly difficult for you is my assumption. Let me know if I'm overestimating it and my strategies just suck. But I've been using some very, very powerful heroes. I'll quickly show you some of the key heroes and their gear. So I was using an Awakened Free Salazar at 85,000 PP. He is in a full set of Night Terror. And as you can see, it's quite good gear as well. And he has the Fury Elite set on the left side. So he hasn't got the newest set that's come out because I haven't farmed it that much. But he's pretty well geared. Max skilled, of course. And I have a level 25 Scarlet Hunt. Arrogance was my other big hero. I didn't actually have a level 25 Scarlet Hunt because I have the other one on my Zilla 2. Another 25 one. Max skilled, though, otherwise. And he has a set of Ancient Wrath. Not a very good set, but it's okay. Other than that... The rest of the heroes that I were using was not particularly special. I think Elowin was quite key because it's Elowin. I had her with Invigoration down, so she because I use her in Guild Boss, I have Invigoration on her. So it's actually not a fantastic set. And you can see it's even got a HP bonus one in it, though I think it's quite necessary to use Elowin in the hard campaign stages. To have that bonus HP is really, really helpful. But yeah, nothing crazy on her, not a crazy leveled art. A level 25 artifact, which does help though with stats. And I use Gwendolyn. Spirit Horn is because I use her in Gear Raid 2. As for the gear, I use Guardian. Again, it's all for gear raid 2. I just pump her HP as high as possible and give her some reduction in damage taken. And Broke here, I think, was really, really useful. Again, I just pumped his HP as high as possible. So mine has over 100k HP, uh, if you include the artifact. So yeah, I, I think those are the core heroes that did a lot of work for me. I think Hex is also worth giving a shout to. He's in a DPS Knight Terror set. And you can see it's pretty decent gear here as well. But yeah, I think it's going to be very, very hard for the average player to get through this and i kind of think that's okay it's nice that there's stuff to work towards i my only criticism would be i'm not sure if this makes sense to be in the common chapter because i don't know how you could do this on expert with five heroes for example i don't know where that's going maybe they have a plan for future but i would expect to see that difficulty in hard maybe because then i could see the step up but i don't know i'm curious to see what they do with it i, I liked it uh, great job with that i think it was fun i'd like to see more of it in future yeah i enjoyed it quite a lot I'm gonna I'm gonna go do that summon now because because I got one and I might as well right, so let's let's go, make it a, a wonderful finish to my my summoning. Nope. Okay, well screw me. You can't have everything, so that's okay. Anyway, yeah, I had a lot of fun with that. It was nice to do new content again. It was nice to challenge myself and uh, not know what's gonna happen next. 
I was expecting to get really screwed in the final boss, but it wasn't too bad, but you have to really respect the mechanics of the boss, otherwise you are just going to get absolutely destroyed. Anyway, that's it for the chapter 9 coverage. I will make some guides in future. Just let me know what stages you're especially struggling with, if you are at all, and just let me know what you think generally of the stages if you've had a chance to play through them yourself. Thank you guys very much for watching. Have a lovely one. Take care. Good luck with the stages, and bye-bye.